Did you wreck my couch? Huh? You're tearing stuff up, goofball. What? I know. You're, not... You're acting crazy. You're being crazy. I know. Hey, welcome back. Just wanted to do a brief channel update. Uh, just to kind of advise that I, I was able to get home on an emergency leave. My mom became ill and unfortunately passed away at the age of 67. Uh, but the good thing is, is she's no longer suffering or, or dealing with her ailments that she had accumulated, accumulated over the last few years. Um, not to get too religious or anything on you, but Psalms 115.16 or 116.15, I can't remember, says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And none of us are promised tomorrow. Um, so live every day to the best of your ability. And don't forget to tell those that you love that you love them and, and squeeze them and hold them as much as you can. Uh, unfortunately, due to my work location and the COVID-19 pandemic, over the last couple of years, I haven't been able to make it home, but I am fortunate to have the ability to do Skype or FaceTime or what have you. Um, so it wasn't like I was completely disconnected from the family. Uh, but yeah, so the the plans for, or the dreams of getting a, a good solid vacation and getting home, spending time with family and stuff like that. I mean, I, I still got to spend time with family, but it wasn't under the best of situations so with that being said um just just love your family and love each other and be nice to nice to those around you uh, obviously if somebody you know treats you inappropriately you know you don't have to hang out with them or what have you but anywho uh while i was at home i did get to open some of the packages um, that I have bought over the last couple of years or that I had at the house that I hadn't opened uh, from the last vacation. So I did kind of do a few rambling unboxing videos kind of in like a long log cabin looms uh, style. So there'll be a few of those posting on the, the channel here and there, just a little bit of different content. Uh, still be doing the Swiss Army Knife videos. Uh, they'll be posting on Sunday or Monday, uh, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, but the other videos I'll probably post maybe once a month or something like that on like a Thursday or a Friday, maybe in the middle of the month. Like I said, just to add some differing content. Hopefully um, this work trip won't be as long and I'll be able to get home and, and do a little more of the stuff I like to do. I started doing the Swiss Army Knife videos just because I wasn't able to get home. Um, if you've watched some of my older videos, I, I do a little bit of tool reviews. Uh, I like to tinker with older cars and stuff like that. Obviously maintain my, my daily driver type stuff. Um, so that's pretty much what I started out doing the channel, but due to my work location, uh, I couldn't do those types of things. So I started getting into Swiss Army Knives and the rest is pretty much history. I was able to get to the gun range a couple of times or well, one one good day with my father-in-law. I uh, didn't plan to make any kind of videos or anything like that. So we just kind of have uh, some cell phone camera videos of me shooting my AR-10 and 308 and then shooting his hunting rifle, which is a Winchester model 742 and 308. I'm not sure if that rifle is his or if it was handed down to him from his father either way i'm not real sure it's kind of a unique rifle you don't see very often uh, so we were just kind of having some quality time hanging out at the range just two dudes sighting in guns and having fun so i'll roll some videos of that in 
Uh, didn't bring a tripod, so when I'm shooting the AR-10, my cell phone ends up sliding around, so I apologize in advance for that. Uh, while I was in Kentucky, uh, which is where my family originally is from, uh, my dad and I had made plans to go to Brandenburg, Kentucky, to a location called Jailhouse Pizza that we were hearing things about, and unfortunately they were closed for some reason that day, so we kind of walked around a, a park area they had there along the Ohio River, and they had a, a Civil War monument. I can't remember, you know, what it was a monument to, uh, but I've got some pictures of the plaques of the monument there. I enjoy history, uh, learning from history and things like that. So if you you are offended by that, I guess, then I apologize in advance and I wouldn't watch that part of the video. It'll just be still pictures of the plaques and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'll roll that video in here. And uh, as always, I appreciate your time. Stay tuned and be nice to one another. Thank you. Good.